There's no time to be lazy. There's no time to be not energized. I want to be, you know, pumped up. I think Jay's training his butt off every single day. I have no reason but to kill it. Come on in, we're going to go hit it. Secret weapon. You guys can't know. Just a little pre-workout, a little mixture of some stuff, you know. Since you guys filmed Jay training back, I figured I'd train some back too. But I need a little extra help, so, you know. You know, I got some jacket and stuff, but the other stuff I don't think you guys should know about quite yet. I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you what I'm taking from my uh, muscle tech, but I don't know. You guys are lucky, so it's just taking that neural cord that's that new stuff that was out, so. It's just cool to be able to get stuff before everybody else does, so. You know, I try to start every back workout with some, you know, wide grip chins and and uh, just to warm up with. I think working the outer laps for me is important. I want to say they're easy. I mean, they are, but you just do it. You, you, you know, you know that this is what you have to do and you just turn that switch and I do it. I mean, with me training back twice a week, I mean, I can kind of get away with three sets. This is my second back day, but usually on my first, I do like four sets and um, making sure I'm getting, you know, full contraction at the bottom and stuff. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> you know, but you're just trying to get full range of movement. Each day, you know, starts off with the same routine. You know, you get up, go do cardio, you eat and shower up, and all that stuff. But when it comes down to the actual training segment, you know, there's a different level of focus. You're trying to use your mind and your muscles to connect together to try to yield these results. Everything has to count, so you're gonna be serious. The minute I strap it in, I'm locked in, I'm, I'm trying to make these weights understand that I'm beating them up, not the other way around. And if I get sore from it, it'd be no different than me just winning the boxing match. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit too, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be the champion, I'm gonna win. Doing barbell rows uh, requires a lot of effort. The weight that I was using wasn't uncharacteristic. It was just, it was just heavy. And today it was just a little bit heavier than the other day. And it was probably because of me training earlier in the day, whereas opposed to, you know, I trained late night on, on Tuesday. So I had more meals in me, whereas today I probably had two to three less meals. And you know, I just knew that I could do it, but I would need a, maybe an extra minute or two just to, get my breath together and, and actually kill it. You gotta do whatever you gotta do. If you gotta scream and holler, you know, it's not to be arrogant, it's not to show off, it's just that I'm channeling all the energy I have, whether it be a low carb day or a high carb day, just to try to kick some butt, you know, and have fun doing it. That exercise was tough, I mean, because we did overhand barbell rows and then I just changed it up. I was like, ah, well, let's just do some underhand too. And I, and actually the underhand was easier than the overhand for me. That was good reference for me to realize, okay, maybe I need to spend more time doing overhand and then do exactly what I did today, which was, you know, do more overhand and then do underhand right afterwards. Cause obviously the underhand is no problem. My whole core is important for this show. And I actually trained with no belt today too. Been doing that for the past couple weeks just to see if my strength changed at all and if things were firing differently, if my waist was getting out of whack because of it and it really hasn't done anything. And it made me feel stronger too. I don't have a whole lot of time. And I haven't had a lot of time compared to everybody else. I mean, everybody else, you gotta think, is probably 10 years older or eight years older and have been training since they were in their teens. So in order to try to, you know, reduce that, you know, I have to go hit it twice a week. So why not just try to kill it? And I've been having fun with these workouts. And that's exactly what happened in um, 2007 after my 
uh, first loss as a pro. I got fifth at the Arnold Classic in 07, and I came back in 08, and people know what happened. You know, I kicked some butt, but they saw a lot of growth. And, like, what did he do? It's like, well, I was training back twice a week. And I thought, why don't I just do the same thing, but with some new added techniques and new fire? And it's been working good. It's not a game when I'm training. I mean, it's not it's not for show. It's not because you guys are here or anything. It's just the fact that I want to win. Every set, I'm, I'm, I'm staring at that weight like, you're gonna get beat up. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you up. And you, there's nothing you can do about it. You can just sit there and take it. And you can try to you know st stay immobilized, and I'm gonna move you anyway. It don't matter. So after I did the 150s, I just looked at the 170s like, oh, it's done. You have no idea what I'm about to do to you. We call them the Bronco weights. The Denver Broncos used to have those up in up in Greeley and, and win a training camp. So I don't know how we got them. I just like lifting with them because they, they have a different handle than some of the other ones, and they just look funky. So I felt like I did make it, you know, easy for me. And that gives me more confidence going into this prep because I know that a bigger muscle is always a stronger one. And as long as my form was good, which I felt that it was, I was getting good contractions, um, I could actually feel the, the muscle move. It's, it's the freaking Olympia, man. You gotta go the extra step. You gotta go above and beyond. You gotta be willing to try. You, got, you gotta be courageous. Instead of just doing, you know, three to four sets, I, I try to implement, you know, Hami Rambaugh's FSC 7. You know, I've been using that system for about four times a week for different body parts. And I just knew that it would be good finishing uh, movement. And, you know, it was. I mean, it, it's, it's a cool exercise because it's easy enough to do, but yet you get such a good contraction. Anytime when you put your hands over your head and you're doing a pull down using the cables and you can do it behind your back, it's almost like doing a back double bicep. And in my mind, that's what I think. And I'm able to get like, you know, really good contraction and I, and I can't see my back. So there's really no point in looking at myself in the mirror. So I'm staring up in the sky and I'm just trying to visualize, okay, where are my elbows? Where's everything at? How does it feel? Making sure that, okay, equal distribution between both muscles, you know, both arms and this and that. How is everything feeling? Oh, it feels good. Okay, keep this going. And the squeeze that I'm getting is just gonna create that pop that I usually have especially on a back double bicep. So that exercise is just, it's just fun. It's, it's awesome. And I love the training system. I mean, I've been doing it for like three, shoot, almost four years now. I've been, I've been using it before everybody else and I've been able to know about all the secrets before we give them to you guys. So I'm just here to share it. Shout out to Honey for showing me something new so I can, you know, hopefully be the next champ. Getting into the Mr. Olympia the contest, there is no time for laziness. There is no time to be tired. You can't get tired. You have to dig deep and, and you have to know that this is what's gonna make me win. When I'm at my worst, you know, I was sick all week and I kept telling myself, this is why you train. You train through anything. It don't matter what it is. And you train the same every time. No matter if you get hurt, you get sick, you do your best. So then when you stand up on that stage, you know that you gave it everything. Tech has definitely been a key contributor to my success getting ready for the 2011 Mr. Olympia. Just with their encouraging emails, they, you know, they actually text message me and stuff. You know, I hope you're doing good. You know, they check in every now and again. Do you need anything? Oh yeah, actually I could use some GACIC. Like the other day I, I was like, oh man, I'm completely out. They send like six bottles. So I go on Twitter and tweet it and stuff and then, you know, show them some love back just to show everybody that I do take it. This year especially with them coming out with a, you know, a few new products, it gets me excited because I can see their passion with, with how they conduct their business. So it kind of, you know, makes a good fit for me. It's not like they're a company like telling me what to do. They're just telling me to be great. Telling me that, hey, you can do it. And I know they're doing that to everybody else too, which is making us a, a, the best team around. I know they're telling Jay the same thing and that's cool because he should. I mean, you want, your, you want the best out of your athletes. You know, I'm sure people think there's favoritism and stuff. Nah, I mean, you know, they, they love all of us. It's a great team to be a part of, and, 
yeah, you know, I mean, we're all fighting for the same thing, but they want us all to be ready. That's why they create all these cool products because they want they want all of us to have the best possible chance on that side to succeed. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I know you already saw Jay's workout. You got to see mine though, right? Try them both out, see which one works for you. Definitely give mine a little bit extra love. And you're definitely gonna be able to see the improvements from that workout at your contest, but more importantly at mine on September 16th and 17th in Las Vegas, when I'm getting ready to go against all these amazing guys, including four-time Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler. And uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's gonna be a great battle. I'm very excited. And I uh, just want to tell you guys, thank you. And for more information on this workout, you can definitely click the link below at bodybuilding.com. You can check out videos from Jay and I. And uh, like I said, continue to support us. Support the sport of bodybuilding. Support Team Muscle Tech 2. And uh, until next time, see you.